I'm gonna show you how you can delete every single of these apps. What's up guys, this is Apple Facts channel here and the question you might have at this point of time is like, what's the point of doing this or what am I supposed to do with that? When I hold down to one of these apps, you can see that we have this X right next to it, meaning that if you click on it, it's gonna be deleted but not every single of those apps can be deleted. In the iOS 11, most of these stock apps actually got the ability to be deleted, but some of the most annoying apps, like for example, the wallet for the people that don't use it, or for example, the find my iPhone or health, still cannot be deleted. So how do you do that? How do you get rid of those icons that only take up space on your home screen? I'm gonna show it to you in today's video. Many people may want to delete the Safari just because they have downloaded another app, for example, Google Chrome or any other web browser, but I made a video about it using some method which is actually able to do it without the glitch. So it will work always and you don't have to worry about Apple fixing this glitch or that it won't work like there in the future. Or if you would shake the icons, it wouldn't come back basically. So it is a better feature, but it isn't really good at the same time. To get the job done, the Safari cannot be found on the home screen anymore, but only Safari. You can also restrict camera, which is probably not something you want to do, even though it is possible to do it right here, but also the iTunes store and that kind of stuff. But you don't have the option to restrict or to remove the wallet app, or you don't have the option to remove the health app or find my iPhone, which may be really annoying for some people. So then you have to proceed with this trick slash glitch or whatever that is, but I'm gonna show it to you right now. So bring this app over to the dock and press the home button once. And now hold on to the app one more time and double press the home button. And now basically bring this app at the top and now it doesn't really matter, you have to let it go anywhere, but simply lift your finger up. And as you can see, the icon has disappeared. So it is nowhere to be found on the home screen. But of course, if you swipe down and search for the help, you can see that it is right there. So you didn't really get rid of this app at all because it is still accessible right here, which is on the one hand a good thing because in case where you will really need it, you can still find it. So if you really want to get rid of this app, you need to get over to the settings, which is right here and head over to the Siri and search and basically scroll down until you find the health app. So it is actually right here and you have to disable Siri and search suggestions. So you have to go like this and we have another pop-up. So show app also disable it. And now if you come back and go to the spotlight search, you will probably not be able to find it. So let's do it once again. And there is no health whatsoever. Only in the settings and also in the dictionary, but either way, it is not able to be found. So let's recap it once again. And now let's try the messages app. So make it wiggle, make it go back to the home screen. And as you can see, the health app actually appeared once again. But I will tell you what to do with this in just a second, but let's do it with the messages app. So bring it over at the bottom to the dock and press the home button. And now hold down to this app and double press the home button once again and bring the application up. And as you can see, there's this nice animation where it disappeared. So as you can notice, one of the ways how you can get the app back is to simply hold down to one of these apps and press the home button. It will appear once again. Or let me do it one more time. Yes, and as you can see, it is right there. But if not, for some reason, if this isn't working, you have to restart the iPhone. You simply have to hold down to the power button and simply slide the slider to turn it off. After you turn it on, you will be able to find the app that you were missing before. So if you want to get rid of the health app and also some other app at the very same time, you have to create a folder which will disappear. You are not able to do it individually because the icons will simply come back, but you have to do it at the very same time. So you have to create a folder which will basically disappear. But you have to do that after you are sure that you don't want to move the applications anymore. Because if you do, it will simply reappear once again. So in case I don't want to use the phone app, find my iPhone and the wallet, I have to put it in one folder. But anyways, I have to do the very same thing, but with the folder. So you have to put it in the dock, you have to let it go and press the home button once. Now hold down to this folder, double press the home button and let's make it disappear. As you can see, none of these apps is present on the home screen. And if you don't want to see the phone app right here, you have to do the very same thing. So you have to go to the settings and basically disable Siri and search for all of those individual apps. 
So it's really useful and I really like this method as I already mentioned. So that would be the end of today's video guys. I want to say thank you very much for watching and please let me know what you think about this new type of video that I started to push out on this channel. You know, like this new intro and background music. Please let me know what you think about it down below. It would really help me and help the channel out. And also what would help the channel is if you click the subscribe button and that way you won't miss anything important when I push out a new video. But anyways, leave a like to let me know that you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.